give some more examples of Objective 1 problems, we'll work the next couple in succession as just a review. Question number 2 wants to know, and by the way, anytime you have a small i, that's actually seen as this, is that every line with a dot over it represents one unit. So in this case, we have 6 ounces. And the question is, how many milliliters is that equal to? So in order to know what 6 are worth, we need to know how many milliliters 1 ounce is worth. So just like in the very first problem for objective 1 we did, we put the value of 1 ounce, which is the same as 30 milliliters. If we have 6 ounces, then we can solve for how many milliliters that is by cross multiplying. 1 times x is 1x, 6 times 30 is 180, so x is equal to 180. x was milliliters, is we have 4,000 micrograms. So when doing conversions between micrograms, milligrams, grams, or any other in the metric, it's easiest to remember that we're going to use the arrow direction to know which way to move our decimal. In this case, I'm asked to convert to milligrams. So if I have micrograms and I'm going to milligrams, I'm going to the left, which means that's the way my decimal will go. So I'm going to go three places for every conversion that I do. One, two, three places. So 4,000 micrograms is the same as 4 milligrams. In number four, we have the same issue. We have 6.2 grams, but we're asked to convert to micrograms, which as you can see is two movements, but now to the right. So for each, that's three decimal places. So I'm going to go one, two, three. That's grams to milligrams and for micrograms, 1, 2, 3. So 6.2 million or 6,200,000 would be our answer in micrograms.